Yes, once again, welcome to Hen House Studios, where you can hear the music and see the stories. Hen House Studios is a recording studio record label located in Venice, California. That's right, right close to the beach here in Venice. And today we are filming in our beautiful Comcast studio in Marina del Rey. And I really like to give thanks to all the people that work at Comcast and especially the staff here today helping us put, it, put our show together and make it all happen for us. Thank you, guys. Anyway, today we have a really great show. Henhouse Studio is a studio that records bands for free. We film them. We make these video clips. We bring it to you at home. Essentially, that's what we do. If you're a musician out there and you're looking to record, please you know, look us up. We're easy to find, and we'd, we'd love to hear from you. Our first artist, we have a very special artist, a blues artist named Peach. And now, Peach was vo voted by the Los Angeles Times as the Blues Artist of the Year. She is really incredible. On this session, too, if you look closely, the horn players are actually two players who work on the Jay Leno show. So, yeah, so you can imagine superb horn players that she got. Um, just amazing guys. So anyway, you guys ready to roll a clip? You bet. All right, let's roll Peach. <laughs> I'm Peach, and uh, the name of my band is Peach. and. Uh, Still working on a name for the band, but so we just go by my name. Uh, right now in my band, we have a great, it's just been a band of my dreams, and we have Maria Martinez on drums, who is a wonderful drummer and has really given the, the band a lot of stability. We have Hardy Eason on keyboards. Hardy is a, a B3 player. He's one of the most gifted keyboardists I've ever known. So also in the band has been Randy Landis, a bass player, who's been a very helpful spirit for the band. And then we often use Joey Delgado on guitar. And Joey has his own band, the Delgado Brothers. And uh, we started playing about a year ago with Joey in some of our festivals and uh, we all just love Joey so much and he adds so much so when he can when we can pull Joey away from his own band um, Joey plays guitar with us not a part of me to me the reason to play with a band is because you're playing with a band I mean, if you want to play and just be playing by yourself, then play solo. But to play with the band, and, and we just have a blast. I mean, it's just so much fun. For me, I would think that people would think about how much fun we all had playing the music. Well, maybe someday the light will come on. A flash of light and say he was. Our band's been like a family, and as, as the joke goes, uh, the good news is it's like one big family, and the bad news, it's like one big family. And okay, so for now, just leave the organ in. Huh? We've gone through, you know, our ups and downs as a band, but we pretty much amazingly stayed together, the, the band, and uh, we all like playing together. It's a, it's a group of people that like to play um, with intensity and passion and also do a lot of listening while they're playing and want to maintain a high standard of playing and uh, so we've I've been really lucky that this band has uh, has been able to stay focused <laughs> What 
could hurt you so bad Just don't let me know I grew up in Indiana and my mother played piano, like this old honky-tonk type of piano style, um, stride piano style where they, they chord in the left hand and <laughs> played blues mostly, my mom did. I'm so glad I grew up there because the music influences there were incredibly good. You know, where we hear the rhythm was our influence. I'm just playing the music I play, you know, and the music that I relate to. Some people have a hard time accepting that. <laughs> and and uh, there are times when that bothers me, that they, they have a hard time accepting it, you know. And then there are times when, um, when I realize it, it really doesn't matter and it's okay. The musicians accept me, I think, uh, a lot more readily, actually, than some people who, who have a preconceived notion of what, what the blues is. You know, maybe my notion of it is just a little different than theirs. My name is Peach, and uh, the name of my band is Peach. <laughs> yes, my name's Harlan, and that was my friend Peach. Uh, I guess those horn players, they came in on a different session, so I, I got a little bit confused there, and I apologize, but just the same, some great studio cats from Los Angeles playing on that, on that session with Peach. Just a wonderful, wonderful player. Um, our next band is a band called Paris which is a young band. I've also heard they might have changed their name to Truth Be Told. I'm not sure about that, but when we worked with them, they were Paris. Really great band, young band. Uh, it's kind of a throwback band. Reminded me of a lot of the band for the, um, that I used to listen to back in the early 70s. Again, this is Hen House Studios Live. We'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. We, we hope that you're enjoying this independent music from, from in and around Southern California. So if you guys are ready, let's roll the clip with Paris. We're ready. My name is Christopher Paris. I play the guitar and I sing in Paris. My name is Aaron Johnson and I play mm -hmm. keyboards for Paris. David Cordoni, bass guitar aficionado for Paris. Stephen Paris, drums for Paris. Uh, does that mean you guys are brothers? Yeah, me yes. and the drummer are brothers. Yes, we are drummers. <laughs> We're drummers, yeah. I mean, we are brothers. The name Paris, where did you guys get that name from? My dad. No. <laughs> we couldn't think of a band name that didn't sound stupid. So it wasn't we, taken. We just stuck with Paris. Plus, all the girls think it's pretty. It, Everyone so, thinks it means something, basically, yeah. but it doesn't mean anything. I'm thinking anything. of making up a meaning for it, but I'm not sure what it is. Some mis mystical land. Sure. Where wizards and fairies rule or something. No, nah, we're going to scratch that idea. Well, it's so
safest about a time when you feel after putting up your defenses as far as like not letting people get too close to you, you know, because you're afraid it's going to hurt or something like that. It's letting your guard down and finally saying, okay, I'm ready to do this. But at the same time, the song is also about people taking advantage of that, of when you're in a bad situation. It's an emotional drama, that song, you know, it's kind of like the up and down roller coaster of life, I guess. The keyboardist, she's my girlfriend. We've been together for over 14 months. That's not supposed to be let out. <laughs> I mean, your normal girlfriend that's not in your band, which there's not many guys have girlfriends in their band. It's really fun because you can spend more time with him and we both get to be doing something that we really like. She goes to the shows, she goes to practice, she's there everywhere we go, so that's a definite, definite bonus for me. Get to spend more time with her. A lot of the songs on the surface may seem like they're love songs or things like that, but a lot of it is, is a lot of self-searching. Maybe I'm over-obsessive or at times I'm a needy person. It's like a confessional in a lot of ways. Corner of the Hen House was very cool. It, it was very relaxed. It was, uh, we got to take our time and really try to find what we liked. Um, the engineers were really cool. You know, they were really easy going. They weren't too pushy. You know, they, it was just, it was a very good experience, very positive. My thoughts are unrelenting and we are both It's a dream of mine to have, be able to get a contract and to be able to do it for a living. You know, I, I, try to, I don't try to do anything halfway. If, if we're going to do it, I'd like to go all the way and take it as far as we can go and make it as big as we possibly can. But, you know, the odds are against you in this business, so, and I know that. So I'm pretty much happy with whatever we get, but I'd like to take it all the way. Perfect. That was good. Yes, Priest, uh, another band with some brothers in it from Los Angeles, California. You are watching Hen House Studios Live, where you can hear the music and see the stories. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for writing us and, and, and all the positive comments we've got about our show. And again, I'd like to extend the invitation to all you musicians out there. If you're interested in recording with us, we'd love to hear from you. So please look for us and, and check us out. And, Send us your music, send us an mp3, mail us a CD in the mail, whatever works for you. You know, we're, we're, we really, really want to hear from you and we also want to hear your music. And all, all you non-musicians out there who've been supporting us through the years, we'd like to also thank you for, for checking it out. And, and it, you know, Hen House Studios is pretty easy to find. If you're interested in what we're doing, just look for us, we're online. All the information you need for contacting us is also at the end of our show. If you hang out to the end, you'll get to check that out. Now our next band is a very interesting band. They're, they're from the South Bay. Uh, there's a lot of bands, a lot of music coming out of the South Bay. We tend to record a lot of bands from, from, that, from that area of Los Angeles. And, they, and the musicians tend to be surfers and a lot of times skateboarders and stuff and have a certain attitude. This band definitely has a certain attitude, a little bit of a party edge to them. So check it out, Ambersand. Roll the tape, guys. Uh -huh. 
Temporarily, they call us Ampersand. Ampersand. Shift 7. We may be in the process of changing the name. We may be the Shuttlecocks. We may be uh, Tarnation. How would you describe the band Ampersand? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I guess it's... Um, oh, man. We're too old to be a garage band. And that's what we come off as. <laughs> Well, I know there's, um, we're going for like, um, gosh, I might have to think about that. Oh, oh man. I know this old man, and you might know him too, and his life story is like a myth to me. sing like an asshole now and later on you don't like me then today I was a prima donna and if I sing like an asshole now and later on you like me then I was determined but if I don't sing like an asshole now and later on you don't like me then I'm just a pussy and if I don't sing like an asshole now and later on you do like me then I was focused The recording is basically just our way to convey to the masses what we're capable of and and anything beyond that is you know basically just left open for your own amazement. Mm -hmm. That's 100 percent butt sweat. But sweat. Dude. Everybody's dreaming is to be a rock and roll star. Who who wouldn't want to be a rock and roll star? That's all I gotta say. If you had to choose one or the other, what would you choose? Being a musician or being a surfer? Mm, if I had good waves, I'd probably go with surfing. <laughs> but that's probably the wrong answer for this video. <laughs> Come on, live the life. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Can't beat that. <laughs> I never thought I'd play the guitar, but look at me, here I am. I'm playing guitar in a band. It's like, it's not the most serious band, but when we get together and play, it's like the most you can ever ask for. I like, I crave it sometimes just to get together as friends and play music. It's what it's about. That's about it. Check, cut, next. Yeah, that's an interesting dilemma. Do you go surfing or do you play music? You know, that's a tough one. If the waves are good, it's, I guess I can relate to that one too, though. I don't, I don't get a, much of an opportunity to go surfing these days. Anyway, we are Hen House Studios Live, and that was Ampersand, a band from the South Bay that obviously loves to surf as well as play music, and they definitely encompass that attitude of, of the South Bay area. Definitely on edge, 
ready to party, ready to drink a little, ready to, ready to play some rowdy music, and ready to go surfing. Henhouse Studios Live, this is our 23rd show. What we do, we invite bands to come record at our studio, we film them while we're recording, we do interviews, we put together these clips, we release records with these bands, we do all kinds of stuff, and we hope to hear from you. Please write us, let us know what you think of our show, um, if you have any suggestions, we'd love that. We'd love to get some feedback from you out there, and, and most importantly, again, thank you for, for tuning in. Our next artist is a really interesting artist named Nikki Hong. Now, Nikki was a singer, Actually, she wasn't a singer. She was a student at USC, University of Southern California, right here in downtown Los Angeles. And she took a songwriting class because she just, you know, she thought it would be really fun to learn how to write songs. So she wrote a song. She sang it for the teacher. And the teacher said, you're an incredible singer. You actually could possibly have a, have a career as a singer. She, she was a true closet singer. And anyway, so this led to her coming to us and recording. She had no experience, and you'll hear this woman sing. She just sounds incredible, and it's, it's one of those amazing stories she, she didn't even realize. So anyway, Nikki Hong, are you guys ready in there to roll clip? We're ready. Okay, cool. Let's roll Nikki. Hi. Hey, Arlen. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. I'm a little bit late today. Hi. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. You are? Yeah. Hi. Introduce yourself. My name is Nikki. Okay. Uh-huh. What's uh how did you find your way into the studio? So you stand there. One glimpse of an eye. Um, it's kind of actually a dorky story, but uh Maybe I can. Okay. It's kind of a dorky story, but um found it on Craigslist, so um, I, was, I thought it was like free recording, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot, and um, Harlan asked me to come in, so here I am. Penthouse Studios. Pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, she sounds awesome. She's a pro. She's like Michelle Brandt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's got that style, you know? I'm ready to take your name. Think you know what I'm feeling With one deep passionate kiss I'm kind of camera no, shy, so... Because you don't see camera shy. <laughs> Put up a good act, but, huh? I'm not, I'm not really used to having a camera this close to me. Okay, stop. Oh, shut up. Uh, my name is Brian A. I'm the guitarist, and uh, everything you hear that's acoustic, that's me. Now I can't think straight All my senses blow when you're around I don't know just why I was searching through ads online for guitars that were needed and I was just going to work with someone and Nikki responded for, uh, she needed a guitarist to help her perform some of her songs we just had our um, first gig like a couple, what, like last week, Brian? It was like the day before we came into the studio. Going. Yeah, that, that 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 was bad. Yeah. Well, I've got the whole song down now. Yes. So, what's the name of this song right here? It's called Rock the Bed. Um, what's it about? <laughs> what do you think it's about? It's about fucking rocking the bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's just dirty thoughts, dirty thoughts. Um, it's actually, it's an experience, and it's about hot monkey sex. I kind of wrote it just because I shouldn't, pro I probably shouldn't be writing about it. So, like, you know, I'm like, I'm like all Asian, and I'm supposed to be like submissive and shit, so. Say that you want me, just take me, baby. It's about shots. 
was like, I was going through this whole like sexual revolution, so I was like, it, I'll just write about it, and there you go. No, 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 I'm telling you, I do finance. Finance. So this is our building, and I work on the 13th floor. It's a consulting company where I do financial valuations and stuff. <laughs> She's a business consultant, I'm computer consultant. because Brian listens to a lot of like indie stuff that I wouldn't normally listen to like stuff that I think is kind of weird he would take me to shows and kind of like expose me to all different types of music and I think that's helped creatively because I usually just listen to you know top 40 stuff yeah well you can't learn all your lessons from Ludacris <laughs> did I screw up? Mm. I'm not sure. I don't. I think I want to leave it alone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd be too tired to rock the red three times in a row. 